Do you ever wake up, make breakfast, get dressed, well, shower, then get dressed, brush your teeth, just get ready for the day, and then you need a nap? Well, that's me today, and uh, ironically, we're going to review these sheets from two and a half years ago. So... These are the lovely Brooklinen linen sheets that I have had since May of 2019. And um, I'll be honest, many a time since that point, I have tried to film some type of review video and have failed every time because I don't like the end product every single time. <laughs> um, so, I guess today's goal is to finally make a video that I like. Uh, I did try to film one a couple days ago, however, uh, I did it in my bedroom and I used like the lighting I have in there, which is a warm amber color because that's the mood I want in there. So I tried to offset it with like, you know, color grading and it, 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 it no, these didn't look pink. I mean, even now looking at my screen, like they look kind of washed out, but to be honest, that's one of my critiques about the linen sheets is because this is like a lightweight linen lighter colors are very sheer so fold it up you can tell this is like a pinky color but when you unfold it specifically the sheet like the top sheet it just loses its color um is there i really hold on i was like i don't want to like unfold it unfold it but like you can kind of see when you lift it up, like it doesn't have a whole lot of color to it. <laughs> so that's like one critique I have about these is that if you do get them, the sheer colors, or rather the lighter colors are gonna be pretty sheer just because it's linen, linen, at least lightweight linen. It's not very thick, it's a very loose weave. So light just passes right through it which is both good and bad. It's good because it means it's very breathable if you just can see right on through it. Uh, but it's bad because if you're going for a certain aesthetic, some people might not like that they can't see the color as well if they're not really like layering it. Because in my case, I do kind of like a turn down effect. So I fold over the top of my duvet, like the end of it on itself. And then I pull the sheet over that, like the top sheet over it. For a layering effect and then pillows against it so it's like i have the gray like the i think it's like the like chambray whatever um color it's a lighter gray and when you layer this over this doesn't look pink very much anymore so that's kind of disappointing uh but if it like a darker color which they come out with like that uh, inky blue they had not long ago, the orchidy yellow, like those will probably be okay because they're a darker color. So there's obviously more dye <laughs> that was used to get that color. Compared to this, they probably, you know, just had a natural linen and then just very lightly dyed it pink. <laughs> so it's like, you know, just be careful with the color scheme. Although I will say if you just want white, it's gonna look great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so moving on past the color, I will say I'm pleasantly surprised. So the one thing about linen that I was worried about, which I think a lot of people tend to worry about, is the fact that linen is usually like this very rough feeling texture. So this is garment washed, which basically means it's just pre-washed. They just, you know, beat the heck out of it and wash a little bit. That way it was softened slightly. And you start to feel the difference as it gets used. Uh, I mean, just right up here, so I keep touching this, if you probably noticed. So this is one of my pillowcases, and specifically right here, funny enough, it's kind of where my head has laid a lot on this particular case. And you can't really see it from here. I don't have the lens to show this, unfortunately. But if you put this at like eye level, you can kind of see where there's like little strands kind of poking out. And it's where it's been worn down and broken in so much that it's become so smooth and soft. It kind of has that like jersey knit feel almost. Maybe not exactly, but it's very similar. It's just it becomes this warm, cozy, very soft kind of 
texture and once it gets body heat applied to it and gets all warmed up it just it's like the super cozy don't want to leave feeling which i don't get from like percale sheets or sateen sateen i can't even sleep under because i'm a hot sleeper so if i get super warm sheets i will destroy them with sweat so typically i need percale or uh linen i have found i will say linen has been my favorite this year i've used this most of the year just because like i said once this gets warmed up it becomes this cozy little like i don't know it's just like just this cozy blanket literally it just like you're just wrapped on a blanket you don't want to move that's how this feels even if you're just like under sheets like once these get warmed up it's wonderful like right now i have the brooklyn and percale or classic as they call it i have a classic set on my bed and it's a completely different feel well the percale definitely has that like smooth crisp hotel feel that cold side of the pillow so you you know no matter where you're kind of laying it's gonna warm up but it's still gonna have that that coldness to it which feels amazing but it's still kind of slippery if you know what i mean like you can you can kind of move your feet i don't know why i'm doing this but we're doing that. I, this is a real review i'm not making money off this i'm not being sponsored i didn't get these for free so like welcome to the mannerisms <laughs> but with the percale and sateen you can like just you can very freely move around you don't it doesn't cling to you however once you get in this and it gets warmed up it kind of clings to you but in a good way because it's, it's trapping your body heat it's keeping it pretty warm but i will say that during the summer this did a really good job at releasing that heat so i was still like warm but in the comfy warm but not in the like i'm gonna sweat to death kind of warm and i've had a lot of seen a lot of reviews where like they say linen is like thermal regulating and that it just traps the right amount of body heat but releases enough that kind of thing i'll be honest i haven't done the research to find out if that's true i've probably said it in every video so far that it's definitely doing yeah it's thermal regulating i don't know i have no clue so i'm not gonna say it this time i'm just gonna say that's what i've been seeing everywhere but i can say confidently that for me it keeps me cool in the summer and it keeps me warm in the winter I was very scared to use it so far this winter because I am in New England, so like it gets cold. I have not been cold using this. To be honest, I've been colder using my percale sheets, which is funny because it's thicker because it's cotton and it's a tighter weave because it's percale. So it's like you would think that would be a little bit warmer, but this, the way this traps body heat and keeps you so cozy, I, I like it way more. But the downside is this is my only set because it's so expensive so when i bought these i believe i spent about 400 dollars with one of the discounts they have they constantly have like a 10 percent, 15 percent off all the time uh which you know duh, kind of annoying uh because you now can get rewards using their site and i have like a 50 dollar reward but the problem is if i want to get like a full set like a bundle like at least for linen they're like 10% off or 15% off is sometimes so close to the $50 mark that I would use. That's like, I almost don't want to use it and just save it. So that kind of is annoying. Cause it's just like, they constantly have those sales and it's like, okay. But like the $50 can be used on any purchase. So I could just like buy something that's like $50, you know? So options there. But yeah, so price is a big factor, I would say, because like the percale sheets, even those are expensive. Mind you, I buy a, a bundle every time, which is supposed to discount things a little bit for you. So I have a queen size bed by the king size duvet. So everything is queen size except for the duvet, obviously. And I think for a percale set, it's usually about like 225 for me. It'd be a little bit less, but it's a little more costly because I'm using a king size duvet versus the typical like queen 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 for everything so that's the other factor if this is this is the course even more expensive than usual because i have a king duo but i will say so far it's been worth it they do launder pretty well however oh here's a good example you kind of get i don't know how you can see that but like you get little pills like that happens like this is sheet that has just like 
come off, peeled off in the wash and use, and then kind of gets stuck onto it. So I do wash my stuff in a portable washer because I don't have a full size washer and I don't have a dryer. So these are line dried. Um, well, I should say air dry because I don't hang them on a literal line. I do have like a little, I've shown it in some videos before. I do have like this rack for like $10 I got at Walmart that I haven't leaned against a wall in my kitchen, which is above a baseboard heater. And then underneath I have two little fans. So as the heater is on, it pulls up that heat and blows it up into like the sheet or pillowcases or clothes if I'm drying clothes. It works pretty well. However, like linen, you would think would dry pretty quick because it's a very loose weave. When you hold it up, you can like see light through it. If you hold it from a distance, you can see, you can make up like the light bulb. You can't do that with like the kale as a teen. You can see the light, but you can't like make out shapes. <laughs> So you would think this would dry really quick. It dries so slow. My percale sheets dry quicker. I think it's because technically the weave is a little tighter. So it kind of traps some air in there, which does allow it to dry a little better. So if you do plan to air dry these, it's gonna take a while if you don't have some kind of like semi heat source like I do with my um, baseboard heater. But it can be done in a day. I will say that if you have a warm enough space and the humidity isn't too bad, like, you know, average humidity, like 50 to 60 percent, these will dry by the end of the day. Um, but you're going to have to make sure it's stretched out enough that, you know, it's not like sitting on the floor and piling up and just have like wet spots at the end. Which is another issue is that when you do have it stretched out, um, which you can kind of see here, is that it will roll into itself. It will kind of fold in, which is a little annoying. If you do put it in the dryer, it will not do that. I think part of it is as this dries, it gets a little stiff. So then it kind of like crinkles onto itself. I do try to stretch it out when I do lay it out to dry, but it still kind of crinkles in. But again, I think it's just because of how I'm doing it. Um, although I can see it here after <laughs> Two and a half years of washing it, it is finally starting to like break a little bit. So, you know, just keep in mind with that. Is I did read on a couple different sites that with linen, because it is both durable but also pretty delicate in a sense compared to cotton, it's not as you know robust, so to speak, when it comes to like folding it for long periods of time, compressing it, uh, washing it a lot, is that washing it a lot will eventually break it down quicker than cotton. So that's kind of stinky uh, because for me, I do wash this typically weekly. Sometimes I can go with like every other week, but it comes down to your own body where it's just me using my bed. I'm pretty good about showering like at night opposed to the morning. So I'm like getting in bed, I'm all clean and stuff. So it's not like a bunch of body oil and dander and all that jazz, skin just falling everywhere. Because that's the big factor is if you, aren't really gunking this up like your body oils and stuff you could probably get away with doing it every other week so basically about two times a month washing it but i mean little strands little pilling every here and there after two and a half years i don't think it's terrible so i guess that's that's kind of everything um price feel longevity I mean, would it come down to it? Would I buy another set right now? Yes, I would. However, I haven't bought linen for almost three years. So I take that as with like, I wouldn't buy them like back to back because depending on the size of bed you have, you could be spending like almost a thousand dollars for two here. You know, just, it's expensive. Um, but I will say if you do want linen, it might not be bad maybe to buy like two sets of linen sheets and then one duvet cover so you can just like swap out the sheets every other week and just give them a rest um maybe or depending on your body maybe you can go two weeks and not worry about it so like use a shit for two weeks wash it put it away for two weeks that kind of thing but yeah i i would love another set i do want a different color palette because when I got these I was very into like that gray and, and blushy pink tones which was a huge dread in like 2018 2019 time uh, so I'm kind of over it and kind of because a lot of my duvet covers and sheets are gray otherwise I have like 
the patterned blue ones I unboxed and the patterned uh, lilac with the purple, which I thought was actually purple on white. It's not, it's lilac. And that's my issue is that when I buy my bedding, at least the past couple years, I've done it more just, oh, I really like this and didn't think about like a style aesthetic and making it match everything so it doesn't look super out of place. So like in the future going now, like if I buy something, I'm gonna make sure it's fun, but more neutral. So maybe like the sheet itself might be a little fun, but the duvet covers me more neutral, which is why like the gray is perfect because it goes with everything. I'll set there. I have like that charcoal uh, for kale duvet cover. Looks great. Like I've actually put these sheets with it. Mwah. It looks beautiful. I love it. I've also used the Percale with my linen duvet cover. Also looks great. That's the other thing I love is that you can combine these with other uh, material. So like this goes, I've also used these sheets with my Luxe duvet cover. So I would say Brooklyn, their sheets and duvet covers, you can mix and match them pretty well with textures and styles and be fine. Cause like, I love the look of the linen duvet cover but sometimes you just want a different sheet underneath because I love the lived in look that the duvet cover provides compared to like the Percale duvet cover, which is very crisp and just sometimes it's just very like hotel looking because it has like no shine, has no sheen to it. It um, doesn't really wrinkle like mine, even though I'm line drawing, the wrinkles come out really easily for me. So it's just like, you know, Sometimes it isn't as inviting, but I love how the linen is, it's garment wash, so it has that wrinkly look. It just looks like it's inviting. So I kind of like to see that as a duvet cover. Also, it feels a bit bigger, honestly. When I put my Percale duvet cover on, opposed to my linen, the linen has like more volume to it. So I think maybe my Percale sheet, the duvet cover has like shrunk a little bit compared to the linen. So it just looks like it's bigger, but it's really not. So I kind of like that it has like a sagginess to it. So it's, I don't know. It just looks more inviting because there's more volume to it. It covers more of the bed. So just keep that in mind, I guess. And uh, yeah, when it comes down to it, it really is preference. I will say if you've never used linen, this is a good option because once you break it in, it's so cozy. If this is out of your budget, I will say a good option is like maybe uh, Target's Castelluna um, linen or even their hemp line is pretty good. I've gone and felt that in person and it feels really nice. It's not the same feel like this. Like this, it's like you, you can tell there's a difference in quality, um, but that is a good alternative if you don't want to spend this crazy amount. It's still going to be expensive though. Like I think there's a... I did like the price, I think it was maybe like $150 less for like a whole set opposed to like Brooklyn. And so it's like, you're not saving a crazy amount, but you're still, you know, money. But yeah, I think I'll leave it here because I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Like they're sheets. Like I'm not gonna go like show you them on my bed because I did that when I unboxed them, which I'll pop the video up here where I did actually like put it on the bed, showed you what it looked like, that kind of thing. I think I even made my bed up to show what I would do normally. So yeah. I'm going to leave it here. If you have any questions, you know, pop them in the comments down below because people have been doing it for like two and a half years. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I will uh, probably go take my third nap of the day because I am so tired. So uh, anyways, see ya.